Bitcoin update, 29, September 29th, 2023, around 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bitcoin has just broken through that bar that you see right there. That's a zone that's been created. And once it's broken through and closed and stays through the zone, it uh, confirms an idea or a zone. So one way that people profit in this industry is to, um, is to make your choice whether the price is going to go up or down. In this case, I'm speculating that the price is going to go down. So in this case, I would potentially be in a short position, uh, which I am in a short position. And it just means that you make price, you make uh, profit as you sell when the price gets lower versus the other way. So we can we can win in either direction. It's just uh, up to you and how you want to trade, but that's why it's important to get a understand what kind of trader you are. And that's why if you join the academy with me, you can learn about different trading styles. There's different kinds of trading styles. You can trade on the on the on the long term spectrum time frame, the medium term, the short term. It really depends on what your kind of personality is. My kind of personality is I like trading on all levels. I like the long term, so I'm buying and holding Bitcoin, for example. Um, and how do we make money on that? Well, if Bitcoin is 26000 today, and if in the future you have one, say, and in the future it goes to 60000 say, for example, then you make that difference on your money, right? That's called position trading. You're buying and holding for the long run. Now there's scalp trading and swing trading, and that really just depends. That really just depends on um, whether you're doing it for the long term or the short term. So if you're if you're um, trading every few days, that's more of a swing trader's mindset. Which I've ta after talking to several professionals. That's more of a relaxed type of trading. And the scalp trading, like the day trading, there's just more, you know, you're putting a lot more energy into it. You're putting a lot of focus into it. It just all depends on what you're into and, and what's important to you. Uh, but that's why learning uh, and, and being, uh, being around professionals, that's why it's good for you to be around professionals like in the academy because you'll learn what type of trader that you are. And so you can come to the charts and build a plan for your success. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Give me a call, 520-400-9573. Give me a call, um, and let's talk about the academy. We, ha we have over 100 different instructors teaching many, 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 many strategies to achieve your success. So I hope this makes sense, and uh, hopefully we'll collab. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Next meal here, just going for kind of a makeshift kind of a meal. Got three kiwis, nuts, uh, almonds, pumpkin seeds, a cliff bar, and an organ protein shake. Got about 30 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat. Getting going, shooting for my goal of 185 at about 6 or 7% body fat. Feeling happy and grateful for today. And this is my next meal. See you soon. Physique assessment, 180, I need to weigh in the mornings, my weight's been going from t teetering around the 180 mark, which is, I've upped my carbs to 600 carbs a day, 200 grams of protein a day. Fitness and Finance, week number 39 in review. So what does that mean, week number 39 in review? Well, to me, I'm a, I like to establish goals and targets, and it motivates me to just have something to shoot for. So in my calendar, it's actually week 39 of 52. So the whole year has 52 weeks, and we just finished up week 39. So that's that's just how I do my goals. It's just kind of a, um, I don't know, motivates me, but I'm just sharing what works for me. Everybody's different, but just give you something to think about. And then also, too, for fun, what I like to do 
is every Friday evening, it's currently Friday evening, um, in Tucson, where I'm at right now. And actually, my background is in Jewish, but the Jews uh, wrap up their week Friday after you see the third star. So it's actually kind of a, it's not a specific time, but for me, when that moment hits, that's when my week ends. It's like, okay, pencils down, week's over, now what, right? So now what I do is I, I'll take tomorrow, really, mostly tomorrow, because to me, Sunday is kind of like day one. So tomorrow, I'll review all my goals, everything, really. This is fitness and finance, obviously. Well, not obviously, but I do have spiritual and family goals and that kind of stuff. But this channel is based on fitness and finance. What I like to do is reflect on my fitness endeavors and reflect on my finance endeavors. And so you could choose to do the same thing if you're whichever one you're trying to make the most of in your life, whether it's fitness or finance then, you know, it's, it's a deadline, you know, that's the thing, I like that I have a deadline, I have goals, at, at the beginning of this last week, I had goals to set for personal training, for weight loss clients, for trading, for YouTube videos, for all kind of stuff, I have three different businesses that I'm building on my finance side, I have investings and savings that I'm working on, and then I have, um, Fitness, which I have a lot going on with fitness. I'm recovering from from an injury, and I'm you know my goal is to be 185. So, you know, there's you just it's, it helps to have clear, specific goals. So, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll review my goals that I set. I'll go over my victories and challenges because that's that's what I do with my clients. And sometimes it's it's fun to coach yourself just like you would coach another person. So imagine if you're coaching yourself for your fitness and finance, you wouldn't say, hey, dum-dum, you would, or, or if you were coaching someone else, you wouldn't be negative to them, right? If you were coaching someone else in your area of expertise, and you were coaching them along the way, and they weren't getting it right, they weren't, weren't getting it right, you wouldn't be mean to them, you wouldn't be down on them, you'd be encouraging them, you'd be encouraged, hey, okay, try this next time, okay, What'd you do right? What'd you do wrong? Let's look at the, you know, what are the challenges? What are the victories? And then progress, right? And that's really, I feel like, success in almost any endeavor is the is a steady realization of your goals, right? Every you're steadily, progressively realizing our goals. That to me, I feel like, is, is success on a lot of levels. It's not success in everything in the whole world, but it is a level of success. When it comes to your fitness and finance, if you can see everything progressing and progressing and progressing, that's wonderful, right? So that's that's a, something to think about. So at the end of your when is the end of your week? You you can make it on a Saturday. You can make your weeks Tuesday to Wednesday. You can make your my week starts on Sunday and finishes on Friday evening, and I take the one day Saturday as rest and reflection, family, spirituality, that kind of thing. So just something to think about. I hope this can be of, of use to you, and I'll be back. So happy and grateful now for all this plant-based and vegan food from Trader Joe. All kind of good stuff from fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, lentils, nuts, and seeds. Consider going plant-based and vegan for your health, for the environment, and for the animals. Being grateful now for my plant-based and vegan meal of jasmine rice with black beans, miso paste, avocado, three different kinds of nuts, grapes, figs, and broccoli. Consider going plant-based and vegan for your health, for the environment, and for the animals.